after that he'll be bringing on our candidate for constituency one, and then we'll be taking questions after that, okay? Good afternoon to the members of the media, to the PLP executive, fellow parliamentarians, party members, branch executives, members for constituency number one, St. George's Park, and all of our gathered supporters. I am delighted to be here today to present the Bermuda Progressive Labor Party, first chosen candidate for the next general election, in the place where Bermuda politics began, St. George's. That I introduce Senator Renee Ming as the Progressive Labor Party candidate for constituency number one. Renee Ming is a born St. Georgian who has strong family ties and roots in St. Georgians, a deep passion for St. Georgians, and a proven track record of not only working for the St. Georgians community but also getting results. With volunteerism spanning many years, Renee's history of service predates her political career. From volunteering with the Africa Diaspora Heritage Trail to past executive membership of the St. George's Cricket Club and her active involvement in the St. George's Corporation Activities Committee, World Heritage Site Committee, the St. George's Preservation Authority, and the St. George's Parish Council, Renee's commitment to this community is evident. After being elected as a common counselor for the Corporation of St. George's in 2009, Renee was instrumental in developing the town activities committee and was appointed to a special committee to explore capital development opportunities. In May 2012, Renee was elected as an alderman, a post she held until November 2012 when she became a candidate for the Progressive Labor Party in St. George's West. Appointed to the Senate in December 2012, Senator Ming has been a firm voice for the people. In November last year, knowing the level and depth of her commitment to public service, I was proud to appoint her as opposition Senate leader. As Shadow Minister for Municipalities and the PLP Senate spokesperson on finance, and education, she has not been afraid to be a very strong advocate for St. George's and also for our young people. This is what St. George's needs, this is what constituency number one needs, and this is what Bermuda needs. What has impressed me most about Renee has been her driving passion to serve Bermuda without fear or favor. Her strong and measured approach in embracing the PLP's Vision 2025, a plan for Bermuda, has demonstrated to me that Renee is committed to delivering results for constituency number one and the people of St. George's. She is astute, she is trusted, she is a leader, and she has demonstrated a track record of community service. Quite simply, she is the best choice to represent the Bermudians here in St. George's North. I proudly present Senator Renee Ming as the Bermuda Progressive Labor Party candidate for constituency number one, St. George's North. in Bermuda. It is indeed an honor and privilege to stand before you today as the Bermuda Progressive Labor Party's candidate for constituency number one, St. George's North, for the upcoming general election. First, I give thanks to my Lord and Savior, without whom I'd be nothing. Secondly, I would like to thank my family, each of whom have been nothing but supportive. And finally, I thank the leader of the PLP, the Honorable E. David Burt, JPNP, 
the executive, the organizers, and all the members for their support and their confidence in my ability in this room. Let me say what you all already knew. I love St. George's. Yeah! St. George's is truly special to me. It is the parish in which I was born and raised. I was schooled just around the corner at the island's first public primary school, the best school in the universe, East End Primary School. I spent my formative years here and enjoyed the warmth and protection of family and friends in the homes and streets of this very constituency. St. George's has been good to me, and as such, I feel compelled to do everything I can for her and for her. There is a sense of pride among us St. George's as we feel honored to protect her image. St. George's was the original capital of our wonderful island and is home to the oldest Anglican church in the Western Hemisphere, St. Peter's Church. I imagine that when St. George, Sir George Thomas and crew landed here in 1609, even they knew it was the best part of the island. to move forward as a country, we must recognize that everyone matters. To take the theme from the former U.S. Democratic candidate, we can be stronger together. I believe in inclusive inclusion, and I always seek to honor the thoughts and ideas from the people I represent. The next Progressive Labour Party government will see continued improvements to the infrastructure of the town of St. George's to enhance our beauty and accessibility. We can we recognize the need for a waste treatment facility that can service the entire town and are committed to finding a workable solution that fits. In the absence of a physical police station in the town, we will work collaboratively with the Bermuda Police Service on a long-term proactive policing plan for St. George's that will reduce crime while offering a true sense of safety to the residents and visitors alike. We will continue to listen to the people of St. George's and ensure that the St. George's Community Center, which caters to all ages, remains a viable establishment which hosts community events while offering programs for the entire family. We will look at any solution that helps to improve the quality of care for our seniors housed in the Sylvia Richardson Seniors Facility. I am committed to working with the St. George's community to address your needs and your concerns. In addition to my parochial aspirations, I will continue to advocate for gender parity and be that voice for a more fair workplace for women in the work environment. I will continue to champion public education as the primary and best options for Bermuda. As the proud parent of an East End primary student and as a public school graduate, I recognize the need for education reform. Integrity, and I'll say that again, integrity is my core principle. And the next Progressive Labour Party government will be committed to good governance. I will advocate for policies and procedures that will ensure that we will be a good government for one, for all of Bermuda. In closing, I recognize that the, that the Bermuda we have today has changed. The past four years have been painstakingly emotional and we have seen many divides. 
this is not the Bermuda that we want for our children or for us. We want a Bermuda that we can work, that can work for everyone. A Bermuda where everyone is treated with respect. A Bermuda where the negative stress is not absorbed by our children. We are at a critical stage. We must heal and work as a unit to respect our and respect our differences while we are growing together. That is the Bermuda that I envision. That is the Bermuda that I will work tirelessly to give you as your representative in Parliament. So, I encourage you at the upcoming election to, and I paraphrase the words of former U.S. President Barack Obama, don't complain, vote. Uh, Senator, uh, Senator Ming or Mr. Bird, either one of you, this you're, you're switching from constituency number two to constituency number one, bearing in mind that you lost by, I think, one vote in the last general election, by four votes, sorry, in the last general election in constituency number two. Why the switch? Well, in, um, in essence, Gary, I live in constituency number one. My house is around the corner. And um, most of my work in my formidable years was done here in constituency one. I think we understand the circumstances that I found myself in constituency two the last time. But make no mistake, I love St. George's. One, two, three, you name it. Um, my passion for St. George's is well beyond any constituency boundaries. It could be argued that with all the development that's taking place down here, and uh, based on comments made by the incumbent for this constituency, Kenneth Bascom, your chances, you might be up against it, so to speak. Well, I think that speaks just to the person that I am, Gary. I'm not going to run from any challenge. I will work tirelessly, as I said. I believe that I have what the people are looking for at this time. I'm offering them all of me in terms of I'm here to listen. I want to hear what they have to say. I would like to know what it is they need and what it is that they want. What have you been hearing from them? 